Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help you improve your mind, body, and your spirit. Aries is going to help us plant this next seed to help you get your mind right. Let's see what the messages are surrounding Aries. Fire sign energy. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Happy birthday to any Aries who are celebrating today. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And let's see what the messages are. <clears throat> let's see, y'all. Ooh, child. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know at this time surrounding Aries, fire sign, energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and guidance that you have for us, for the collective? I do not know what you want us to hear at this time, Holy Spirit, but I'm sure that you will give us all the insight and clarity that we need. So what is the divine message at this time? Surrounding Aries, fire sign, energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. One more shuffle, y'all. We're going to give it a go. We're going to see what comes out. Let's go. Six of Wands. Victory. Celebration. Somebody may be celebrating for their birthday this weekend. Okay. This gives celebration, like people are celebrating you. So maybe you're having a birthday party or maybe you went out of town for a birthday trip with your friends, but you know, you are the important person in the room. You are the person that's being recognized, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Seven of Wands. Even though you are in the Six of Wands and you are receiving this acclaim, this attention, there's somebody that's trying to challenge you, okay? There's somebody in the crowd who's not happy, who's hating, who's there to celebrate you, but they're choosing to act like a sourpuss they probably, they face probably is turned up. Everything, I, somebody is like on a birthday trip and everything that y'all are trying to do to have a good time, everybody in your group, in your collective, there's one person who's being difficult, who's being a challenge, okay? And they're coming at you directly but it's because you're getting all the attention. Not a cups in reverse. This person is being an asshole. They could be a water sign. Like I really see them with their face, their their mouth all drawn in like they was sucking on a lemon or something. You know how Nelly, I think that was her name on Little House in the, on the Prairie, how she used to be looking when she couldn't get her way or she was jealous or envious of somebody, of Laura. That's how this Knight of Cups in Reverse is acting. They don't like that you are getting this attention. Two of Swords. <clears throat> so they're trying to stop the party. They're trying to stop the good times. They're trying to stop the good vibes. The Magician. I'm, I'm telling you, Four of Wands. With they are trying to create some sort of halt to the celebration. So I don't know who I'm picking up on, but you are on a birthday trip or you are planning a birthday party or something like that. It's some sort of celebration. You are the guest of honor. Everybody is toasting to you. Everybody is on this trip for you. Okay, and there's somebody on this trip, a water sign, who's mad about it. We have the fool. It's like this person is trying to do something to 
be free of the obligation. They could be a Pisces of even having to celebrate you. Like this person may be acting so disagreeable that y'all may be saying, why don't you just go home? Or you don't got to come tonight. It's okay. It's something like that here. Like they're, but they're doing this on purpose because they don't want to celebrate you. This Pisces here. They are deliberately taking this action because they know that you'll just be like, whatever, you can go. We'll holler at you later. Go ahead and take an early flight back. It's something like that here now. And that's a shame. That's a shame now that this person can't even be happy for you. Queen of Swords. They could be like a Aquarius Pisces cusp. But they definitely are bitter. They're bitter and you just want them to go. <laughs> like you, you like, whatever, okay, bye. You know, you're not gonna let them stop your show. But they trying to. And, and that was the intention. It's like, why would you even come? Why would you even try to be involved if you couldn't be happy for me in whatever capacity? But this person ain't never been happy for you. That's what I'm hearing. Clarify, Holy Spirit and Hermit. They've always hidden their true feelings, their true beliefs, their true intentions. Pisces, Aquarius, and Virgo are prominent. Aries energy as well. The lovers. We got Gemini here. She could have Gemini in her chart. But this is somebody that you love and care about. This could be like a sibling, a relative. Okay? You know, your sister girl. But she karmic. She don't really like you. It's some sort of codependent attachment because y'all are family with this Ten of Cups. And it's like she sees no benefit out of investing any more energy into you or celebrating you. Like this person is kind of fed up. What? Why is this person so mad at Aries, Holy Spirit? What is their problem? King of Pentacles, <laughs> that's their problem. Because you got a man, Knight of Wands. Child, there's a Capricorn masculine here who has cut this woman off, but is showing some sort of love and loyalty for you. But he has some sort of karmic partnership. He could be a Libra that I don't think ended very well, that he has some sort of connection with this Queen of Swords. You don't know about this connection, okay? But these two people have history. This family member who is in your, in your social circle, obviously in your close social circle, because she's either helping you plan a party or a celebration, or she is on a birthday trip with you, whoever I'm picking up on, and you can't understand what her problem is, but this is her problem. This King of Pentacles to you is a King of Swords to her. And you didn't got your way with this King of Pentacles, okay? Y'all are in some sort of connection. This man has showed some sort of spontaneous love an appreciation for you, okay? He's taking some sort of action to show you some sort of love and appreciation here, to show his passion and desire for you. It was unexpected. I do not think that you knew that this Queen of Swords had a connection with this King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Seven of Swords, but she think you do know. She think that you going behind her, messing with her exes, and you supposed to be her family. Okay, so this is for somebody. You probably was wondering what is this person's problem, and that's her problem. She ain't trying to celebrate you in the least bit because 
she looking at you like a whole snake. Definitely has had a different perception, a different unexpected change in her mindset about you. But I already feel like this person had some beef. This person already had some sort of irritation that she possessed about you and how you seem to get your way. It seems to fall in alignment for you. Okay. Six of Pentacles. People always seem to want to give to you and be in some sort of reciprocal partnership with you. This King of Pentacles in particular, but he it looked like he treated her like a bust down. Knight of Wands, King of Swords. He came out as the King of Pentacles to you, though. And it's falling right up under the Four of Wands. But he breadcrumbed her. He breadcrumbed her. And she thought this King of Swords, King of Pentacles, was her divine masculine child. See, that's why she really tripping on you right now. Because how dare you take her divine counterpart? That's how she feels. But she was in the tower with this masculine. He did not treat her right. And it don't got nothing to do with you. But I don't feel like you knew. I don't. She thinks you do. She's passed judgment on you and him. Eight of cups. She done with y'all. It's, it's trying to go in reverse. Because I feel like. She's on the fence. With this two of swords. She. She don't want to be the party pooper, but she loved this man. I'm telling you. She thought this was her twin flame. They coming out here. I'm telling you, she think this her twin flame, her past life soulmate, and you kicking it with him, getting favor from him, and their connection has been laid to rest. But he out here showing you favor, getting justice with you. Baby, she fed up, honey. Fed up with showing you any love, favor, appreciation. She done with that. And she do feel like you know. But she's like, dang, she acting like she don't even see why I would be hurt. Why I would be upset. Why I would be a party pooper. She acting like she don't even know how she's betrayed me. And I'm really getting that you don't, Aries. I'm calling you Aries because you are this six of wands, seven of wands, four of wands, three of wands. Okay. You definitely have exhibited some sort of excitement or you're like the, it's like you're the life of the party and everybody's excited to party with you except for this one person and you're wondering why. And even like with this Knight of Wands energy, the passion that you've ignited in this man who she knows to be very cold. Often it's like he goes hot and cold with this King of Cups, King of Swords. But it, it shouldn't be like that if he's her King of Wands. Okay, but he's the king of pentacles, knight of wands to you. All of this faith, faithful and loyal energy that he did not give to her. So she she fed up, honey. <laughs> I'm telling you. She fed up, but now you need to be looking at this masculine like how great of a catch is he? Because he has gotten with you and I know he noticed your people. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I know he know. Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. He knew, he knew who this woman was and is to you. And he still has chosen to partner with you in her face. He playing in her face. She think you playing in her face too. And it definitely has changed the game. Definitely has changed the game. Nine of Cups. It's almost as if she feels like he is purposely doing this. 
purposely showing all of this love and appreciation and dedication to you to somehow smite her, to somehow make her feel some type of way and I can't make it up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And it's like, you're already the boss. You already kind of get your way. It, all, it already works out for you. You already have this position of power and authority even because people listen up when you speak. People pay attention when you move, even with this six of wands. So why, why should I contribute to you getting yet another thing your way, Aries? That's what she's saying. She want to see you be a little bit bothered for once. And you are bothered right now because you're, you're trying to figure out how you can heal what is happening with her. You're trying to figure out how you can inspire her to have a good time even. But she, she not biting. But I do feel like you, yep, I was about to say, I do feel like you like, well, okay, bye then. Because you have, you're trying to pacify her, but it's still your time. Five of Wands. And, and it's getting to this point, okay? It's getting to this point. Because she ready to fight. You don't know why she ready to fight, but you tired of her acting like a bitch. So, you know, it's going to be... Not too many more times before she pop off at you on your birthday trip or during your celebration. And it's going to be up. It's something like that here for real now. And this is a group trip. It's like y'all are on a group trip or something. Are y'all going on a group trip? Or she been helping you plan something for your birthday, but she been at the stank. And this is why. You don't know why. But this is why. And I feel, ooh, and the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. You are getting me mental clarity at this time. But I do feel like it's people who know around you and they ain't saying nothing. And that's even more foul to her. And in a way, it is because somebody should have informed you like, hey, you know, that's your cousin X. That's kind of why. Look, cut the deck on Aries. That's kind of wild. Rumors. I'm telling you, people are talking about this because they know who he is or was to her. But ain't nobody saying nothing to you. And that ain't right, Aries. So let's see. I'm take, taking that. She feel like you stole her twin flame now. I'm telling you, that's what she probably just said to people like, she ain't shit out here acting like she all of that. Messing with my twin flame in my face, and she's supposed to be my family. This lady upset, honey. Ooh, I'm telling you, she feel like you a snake, Aries. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Let's see what hit the table from the Oracle deck, y'all. We call them fans, because she feel like you copying her. You trying to go behind her. You're emulating what she attempted to have with this person. And he not right. I'm going to just let you know right now. And it is giving shapeshifter with this warlock wizard energy. Because to be playing with the hearts of two women that are family members, he wrong for that. And he's out here as all four kings. But he's not the emperor. You are in this emperor energy. You are the one in charge right now. It's your time. I keep hearing that. You may have even been saying that. It's my time. I keep hearing that, that song. It's my time to shine. So you might even be playing that, okay? But he, he know how to switch up to please who he with. He doing some sort of shape shifting here. The universe is calling for you to love yourself because you didn't know what this man was doing, but hopefully you're going to disconnect from him because he ain't worth this sister friend bestie energy that this person was to you. Now, like I said, there is some sort of 
slight envy within her because she feels like you've always gotten your way and this is the icing on the cake. This is, this is the tipping point here. But you didn't know. And I feel like letting her know that you did not know is going to make a difference in how you and her move forward, how she feels about you overall. Because I'm sure you didn't, you didn't see it in the way that she sees it, that you were, you just a spoiled brat type of energy getting your way. Because that's what she, she kind of feels about you. I'm sure you don't see it that way. But this is worth clearing up. And whoever I'm talking to, you gonna know this is for you. Because you going through this. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael ain't really trying to protect you from your cousin. That's what it's given. Like she your cousin or something. He trying to protect you from this warlock karmic masculine that's playing in your face too now. Because he know you don't know about him and your cousin. He know you don't know that. And Archangel Michael knows he, see? He know that you have not inquired or asked about him and who he used to date. And you ain't really trying to hear nothing about him either. He knows that about you and he's using that to his advantage. Somebody named Mike could be Michael. What else, Holy Spirit? They can't stop watching and talking because people was like, wow, she's still hanging around her. She's still celebrating her after how she out here sleeping with her ex in her face. Like this man is around y'all too now. That's why I keep hearing birthday trip. Like a group trip or something. She do got Gemini somewhere in her chart. But it's her pride, honey, that's stopping her from just saying, why are you out here fucking my man? Because <laughs> she feels like this is truly her man. And he not. He done made her feel like that at some point. Karmic masculine. El the elements are at play. Because I'm telling you, this man is out here as all four elements. All four elements. He is able to shift his energy Depending on what play he trying to make, I'm telling you. And the universe is trying to warn you and crazy then came out here. Because I'm telling you, I'm picking up on his mini face head ass. I am. And that is kind of wild what's happening. For you not to have any idea that it's like, it's almost like he's treating her like she was a sneaky link. And you are the prize. You are the queen. And he's parading his, his queen in front of his sneaky link. But the sneaky link just happens to be your cousin or your sibling even. Maybe like a stepsister, half-sister, something like that, honey. It's a very close familial connection. And somebody do need to enlighten you to what's going on because this is sad. And they is playing. He playing. He playing in y'all face. I'm telling you. They playing. Because that's some bullshit right there. And he know you don't know. Once again, because you would have cut him off. And I think you are going to cut him off just as soon as you confirm if they have history together. Babies then came out here. Anyone with anything negative to say. For no given reason, got issues. I don't know what all the history is between her and this karmic masculine, but it's rough. Okay? It's not a, a good history. There could have been some sort of pregnancy between the two of them at one point when she was dealing with him. That may also be why she's very emotional about this situation. So just be mindful, okay? 
Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Be what you want to receive from another. You would not want your sister, your cousin, or your friend to be out here sleeping with no man that you have a very strong emotional past with. That's nasty anyway. You shouldn't even want to be friends with nobody who want to sleep with anybody behind you. They nasty and they not your friend. Okay? So she right to feel the way she feeling. But her understanding about it is what's flawed. So be what you want to receive from another. Once you know the truth, you confirm their connection. Don't be that woman. Okay? Be the other woman. Be the virtuous woman. Anything else. Heal and, and try to heal the connection. Heal the connection between you and your family. Family got to break these karmic, toxic cycles and occurrences that turn into pain that lasts for years, decades. People be mad at each other over shit like this and it it trickles down into the next generation, the next generation. No, the universe is saying heal it now because they definitely talking about it. They talking all around your ass about this karmic masculine and his, and his past connection to your family member, okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, y'all, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.